And we have been given the cross. Y nos ha dado Cristo la cruz para lidiar con la carne, to deal with the cross. There is liberty, there is freedom in serving Jesus. We're going to get right into the Word of God. Vamos a entrar en la palabra de Jehová. Bless the Lord. Bendice mi alma. Mi alma bendice a Jehová. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Uh, we can, vamos a leer de Jeremías 29, versículo 13. We're going to read Jeremiah 29, verse 13. Y aquí les tengo todas las notas. I have all the notes for you here. En Spanish, en English, en inglés, en español están las notas. Todo está traducido. Everything is translated. And we are so glad. It, being in the house of the Lord is the right place. Estar en la casa de Jehová es el lugar adecuado y a, 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 a correcto. Amen. I'm telling you. Wow. Nomás tenemos 28 minutos. We've only been here 28 minutes. And the presence of the Lord is here. El Señor está aquí. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29, verse 13, Jeremías 29, 13. And then we're going to go to Luke chapter 2. Y luego vamos a, a ir a Lucas capítulo 2. But Jeremiah 29, 13. Uh, pásale por favor, Débora. And uh, would you come up here, uh, Pastor Jessica? Or, or uh, can you, would you come up here? It's, you know, I have a, I have an ability. Tengo un, um, siempre me sucede a mí, that I, I find out later, siempre me doy cuenta después, that uh, uh, I, I, I call people by a name nobody else calls them. I then think, um, tengo esa tendencia de llamar gente en nombres que alguien más usa. Uh, Eric is Bronson. El pastor Eric is Bronson. Yo siempre le digo Eric. And you're in guard or you're a king? In guard is your first name, and I always call you a king. And I always called Amir Amir. Yo sé, and, I, and I would hear John, and I'd be like, and even since somebody, alguien aquí me decía John in la iglesia for the first time, I said, who's John? Really, I said, then they said, Amir, and I said, oh, okay. Why are you calling him John? Porque no dices John. It sounds so weird. You know, it's but please forgive me, and it's always been the case me. Siempre ha sido así conmigo. Anyway, I don't even know how I get a hold of those names or whatever. But anyway, that's it. Would you read Jeremiah chapter one? I mean, chapter. You're going to read it in English. Eva leer Jeremías en inglés. Usted en español. Jeremiah 13, Jeremiah 29, 13. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart. He said, you're going to seek me, me vas a buscar, and you're going to find me. Y me hallaré, me vas, a, me vas a encontrar, me hallaré. Now, Luke chapter 2, Lucas capítulo 2. Why do I read from the Old and the New Testament? ¿Por qué leo del Antiguo y el Nuevo Testamento? Why do you, because it, it's a witness, es un testigo. Uh, you begin to see that the same God of the Old Testament is the God of the New Testament. Que el Dios del Antiguo Testamento es el Dios del Nuevo Testamento. Of course, Jesus... Jesus manifested in the flesh, came in the New Testament. Cristo manifestado en la carne vino en el Nuevo Testamento. But he, he, he's always been a good God. Siempre ha sido Dios bueno. And, and he's always been a God who judges. Y siempre ha sido un Dios que juzga. But guess what? Pero piensa en esto. He's still your God. Todavía es tu Dios. Amen? A gun in the hand of a stranger is, is nerve-wracking. Una pistola en, en, en la mano de un extranjero es algo... De, de preocuparse. Pero, but when it's somebody you love holding a weapon, it's comforting. Pero cuando es alguien que tú amas, que tiene una herramienta de guerra, eso te, te, te trae tranquilidad. God is fighting on your behalf. Dios pelea uh, por ti. The Bible says in Luke chapter 2, comenzando con versículo 40, starting at verse 40. And when he was 12 years old, they went to Jerusalem according to the custom of the feast. Versículo 40. Is it 40? 
okay, when you get your notes, the numbers are going to be wrong in the verses. Cuando reciben sus notas, los números en los versículos van a estar equivocados. Pero anyway. And when he was 12 years, it is verse 40. Oh, then 42? Oh, no, no. Yeah, está bien. 42. Vamos a leer 42, versículo 42. But the reference says 40. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem according to the custom of the feast. Y cuando tuvo 12 años, Jesús, subieron a Jerusalén conforme a la costumbre de la fiesta. 43, 43. They had finished the days and they returned and the boy Jesus lingered in Jerusalem. Al, regre al regresar ellos a... a, a, a Acabada la, la fiesta, se quedó el niño Jesús en Jerusalén. And Joseph and his mother Mary didn't even know it, they, that they had left without him. Sin que lo supieren José y su madre, 44, 44. But supposing him to have been in the company, they went a day's journey. Y pensando que estaba entre compañía, anduvieron camino un, de un día. And they sought him among their relatives and acquaintances. Y le buscaban entre los parientes y los conocidos. So when they did not find him, pero como no lo hallaron, they returned to Jerusalem seeking him. Volvieron a Jerusalem buscándole. Now, so it was that after three days they found him in the temple. Y aconteció que tres días después le hallaron en el templo, sitting in the midst of teachers, sentado en medio de los doctores de la ley, both listening to them and asking them questions, oyéndoles y preguntándoles. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. Y todos los que oían se maravillaban de su inteligencia y de sus respuestas, 48, 48. So when they saw him, they were amazed. Y cuando le vieron, se sorprendieron. And his mother said to him, y le dijo su mamá, Son, why have you done this to us? Hijo, ¿por qué nos has hecho así? Look, your father and I have sought you anxiously. It's it. He aquí, tu padre y yo, te hemos buscado con angustia. Dice, si me buscas, if you seek me. And he said to them, entonces les dijo, Why did you seek me? ¿Por qué me, bus por qué me, busca me buscabais o buscan? Me buscaban. Why did you seek me? ¿Por qué me buscaban? Can you say that with me? Why did you seek me? Why did you seek me? ¿Por qué me buscaban? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? No, habéis, no, no sabéis que en los negocios de mi padre me es necesario estar? But they did not understand the statement which he spoke to them. Mas ellos no entendieron las palabras que les habló. Two more verses, dos más versículos, 51, 51. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth. Y descendió con ellos y volvió a Nazaret. And he was subject to them. Estaba sujeto a ellos, but his mother kept all these things in her heart. Y su madre guardaba todas estas cosas en su corazón, 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature. Y Jesús crecía en sabiduría y en estatura, and in favor with God and men. Y en gracia para con Dios y los hombres. So I just want to tell you today, les quiero declarar, Hoy en este día, voy a hablar sobre el tema, Why do you seek me? Uh, ¿Por qué me buscan? I'm going to talk about, Why do you seek me? Now, this is the first time, es la primera vez, that we're going to hear Jesus, que vamos a oír Jesús hablar, talk. Before this, he was a baby in the temple. Antes de esto, era un, era un bebé en el templo. This is the first time recorded in the Bible, la primera vez grabado en la Biblia. There are the books, hasta hay otros libros. No son... There are the books that are not legit, legitimos, that have all kinds of contradictions, que tienen todos tipos de contradicciones. But this is the word of God. Esta es la palabra de Dios. Esta es la palabra de Dios. This is the first time you're going to hear God Almighty. Es la primera vez que va a seguir el Dios Todopoderoso, in the flesh, en la carne, hablar. And the first thing he says, y la primera cosa que dice es una pregunta. The first thing he says is the question. And how many of you guys know that when God talks, something's about to happen? Cuando Dios habla, algo va a suceder. God, I'm going to say something that sounds so simple, but it's so powerful. Voy a declarar algo, decir algo que es tan simple, pero tan poderoso. God is, by his nature, supernatural. Por su naturaleza, Dios es sobrenatural. There are no laws that you and I have to submit to. No hay leyes que usted y yo necesitamos que sujetarnos o someternos. 
like the law of gravity, como la gravedad, that God can't break it. Dios no puede quebrar. There are laws. We need oxygen to breathe. Necesitamos el oxígeno para respirar. Well, you can breathe other things. Puedes respirar otras cosas. But God is not limited. El Señor no tiene límites. No es limitado. I'm going to say that again. Lo voy a decir otra vez. God is not limited. God has no limits. Dios no tiene límites. God is bigger than any scientific discovery. El Señor es más grande que cualquier uh, descubrimiento científico. That's why God can heal cancer. Por eso el Señor puede sanar el cancer. And, and if you were to just look at cancer, si estudiar el cancer, cancer is disorder at the basic level. El cancer es un desorden. That's really, the word cancer is really just a general word. La palabra cancer es una palabra general. It literally just means there is a massive disorder at a cellular level and even less and even more at a molecular level. Hay un desorden a un nivel celular. But I just want to tell you this. Our God is supernatural. Nuestro Dios es sobrenatural. By nature. Por naturaleza. Some people, they show up somewhere. Hay una gente que llega a un lugar and they're troublemakers y causan problemas. And you know when they show up, sabes que cuando llegan, va a haber problemas. There's going to be arguments. Sometimes we may have family members, quizás tenemos miembros de la familia, that they like to argue, les gusta pelearse todo el tiempo, and you think, oh, when they show up, somebody's going to fight. Cuando lleguen a, 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 a la pachanga, cuando lleguen, alguien se va a pelear. But God, when he shows up, el Señor, cuando él llega, cuando él entra, when he comes in, something supernatural is going to happen. Algo sobrenatural va a pasar. And I'm just establishing this. Jesus doesn't just show up to funerals. El Señor no nomás va a un funeral. If Jesus shows up to a funeral, somebody's going to get raised from the dead. Si Cristo llega a un funeral, alguien va a resucitar de los muertos. That's just how it is. Así es el Señor. God can heal without a preacher. El Señor puede sanar sin un predicador. He can touch you without anointing oil. Te puede tocar sin el aceite. De, sin el aceite. He can minister to you even if you're not in the temple. Te puede ministrar aun si no está en el templo. But he does that. But he does do all those things. Si hace todas esas cosas. Using the temple, usando el templo, el aceite, using the oil, using the pastor, usando el pastor. Because he also ordered that, porque eso lo ordenó él. So all I'm trying to get you to understand, todo lo que les quiero dar a entender es esto. That if Jesus is talking, it's never a regular conversation. Que si Cristo está hablando, no es una conversación normal. Porque él es sobrenatural. He is supernatural. When he asked Adam, where are you? Cuando le pregunta a Adán, ¿dónde estás? He knows where Adam is. Él sabe dónde está Adán. When he asked uh, Elijah, when he was hiding in the cave, cuando le, when le preguntaba al profeta Elías cuando se escondía en la cueva, ¿qué estás haciendo? Why? What are you doing there? God doesn't ask a question because he doesn't know an answer. El Señor no pregunta preguntas porque él no sabe respuesta. Él es la respuesta. He is the answer. But he wants to get you to come into revelation. Él te quiere invitar a entrar a una revelación. Somebody say, God, make me smart. Señor, hazme inteligente. Ya tienes inteligencia. You already have intelligence. But God is inviting you to educate you. Dios te está invitando para enseñarte. And that's something. And Jesus asks them, le preguntan a él. Because they first asked him. Primero ellos le preguntan a él. But he doesn't answer, no le respuesta. He gets them another question. Les pone otra pregunta. Right? He said, why are you seeking me? ¿Por qué es que me buscan? He's getting you to look at yourself. Que te, que te, que te, que reflejes en ti mismo. Why? Why did you come to church today? ¿Por qué viniste al templo hoy? Quickly, pro, pronto. Uh, Luis, why did you come to church? ¿Por qué viniste al templo hoy, Luis? Why did you come to the temple today? Por Dios, okay, yeah. Why did you come to the temple, King? Today, por qué vienes al templo? To worship, okay. Sister Laura, why why did you come to the temple? Por qué vienes al templo? Porque tú amas al Señor. Pastor, why did you come to the temple? Para oír una palabra de Dios. Why did you come here? Why did you come here? Muchas veces, many times, people do things out of routine. Hacen cosas no más por rutina. Would you come to church if somebody in your family didn't come to church? Venías, venirías, vinieras al templo si alguien en tu familia no fuera al templo? I have a good mother and a good father. Tengo una buena madre y padre. 
My mother was my Sunday school teacher. Mi mamá era mi, mi maestra de escuela dominical. And she taught me well, me enseñó muy bien. And even now, aún hoy, cada vez que habla con ella, every time she talks to ella, we talk on the video, en el video, there's not one time, no hay una vez, that my mother will not tell ella about Jesus. Que mi mamá no habla con ella de Jesús. And she has cards, tiene tarjetas, she has alphabet cards, de, del alfabeto, de números, the numbers, the characters of the Bible, the de, de personas de la Biblia. They're, son caricaturas, they're cartoons. And she'll tell Ella, remember to say, thank you, Jesus, for this day. Amen. Le dice, no se te olvide orar. Gracias, Jesús, por este día. Amen. And I tell Ella, le decía, because she would fight my mom. Se, no quería oír mi mamá a veces. And I would tell her, Grandma taught me about Jesus. Mi, tu abuelita a mí me enseñó de Jesús. And of course, my dad took us to the house of the Lord. Mi papá no llevaba la casa del Señor. He was an elder in the church. Era un anciano en la iglesia. But there was a time, but there was a brief time. Había un tiempo breve donde mi mamá y mi papá, where my mom and my dad, they got discouraged. Se, se desanimaron, se disolucionaron. The church politics, Pastor Anthony, you know about it. La política de la iglesia, todos se pelean, everybody's fighting. Business meetings, uh, juntas de negocio. I don't like this brother, este hermano y esta hermana que no me saludaron. They didn't tell me hi, they're this. Esas hermanas que pelean con estas hermanas, those sisters fight with sisters. But something happened to me, algo me pasó a mí. At the age of about 13, going on 14, como los 13 años, entrando los 14. About the age of Jesus, here, como la edad de Cristo tenía 12. He was 12. And actually, to be honest with you, said honest, honestamente, no nomás tenía 12, he wasn't 12. The true translation is he was fully 12, which means he was coming into his 13. La traducción correcta dice que tenía 12, pero completó el 12 entrando al 13. Because Jewish boys get bar mitzvahed at 13. Los, los, los judíos hombrecitos a los 13 entran a como la quinceañera, pero los 13 para reconocernos como hombres. At 13, they can go to the temple. A 13 años pueden ir al templo. Por eso están en el templo. That's why now he's in the temple. But to, to just tell you, para decirles, uh, I had, my dad had decided to go back to church. Mi papá decidió ir a la iglesia. And he woke up one morning and se levantó. And at that point, we had stopped going to church. Dejamos ir a la iglesia por un periodo, for a little time. And I felt the difference. He sentí yo la diferencia. But I remember we went to church. Fuimos a la iglesia. Fui mi papá a la iglesia that once, un domingo. He went back, regresó. Solo, by himself. He got up, he got dressed. Because when he was a child at nine years old, he went to church by himself. Porque como niño los nueve años, él también iba al templo solo. And the next Sunday, el próximo domingo, le pregunté, I asked him, Dad, can I go to church with you? ¿Puedo ir al templo contigo? He said, sí. Me levanté. I got up. I got dressed. Me vestí. Nadie me dijo, hey, levántate y vístete. Nobody told me, hey, get up and go. And I went with my dad y fui con mi papá. And I can remember that day. It was, uh, it was during Christmas vacation. Era durante las vacaciones navideñas from school de la escuela. And I remember hearing the pastor preach, oyendo el pastor predicar. And they didn't have all this music we had. No tenía como música como tenemos hoy. Era, eran himnos. We had hymns, you know, beautiful, era bonito. And I remember telling my dad after service, el día de mi papá después del culto, I want to give my heart to Jesus. Quiero darle mi corazón al Señor. And so he said, tonight when the pastor makes an invitation, we'll talk to him. Walk up and give your heart to Jesus. En la noche cuando hagan invitación, pasas, hablo con el pastor para recibir a Cristo. It was different in that church, era diferente. But I went up, uh, fui al frente, and I can see it today, lo puedo ver. I gave my heart to Jesus in mi corazón. Something happened to me, Joe. Algo sucedió con dentro de mí. Um, shortly thereafter, uh, the next Sunday, el próximo domingo, they took me out on the side of the road. Me sacaron después en, una, en un carro. Fuimos a un río en el lado del camino. No fue fancy, nada, en un lugar lujoso. And everybody got out, todos se bajaron. And, and they walked me down on, by the street, cerca de la calle aquí, no lejos del hermano Herrera, not far from Brother Herrera's house, uh, más allá. There was a body of water, river, como un río. And the pastor got in, se metió el pastor, yo me metí con la ropa de la iglesia, I got in with church, y ahí me bautizaron, and they baptized me. And they would say a verse when they took you under the water, decían una cita cuando te subían, los metían en el agua, como los frijoles de... They would really soak you like beans. And then I came up, y luego subí, and then my pastor, mi pastor, que le gustaba pescar, he was a fishmonger, and he handled, you know, he was a thief, like a butcher, but with seafood. Era hombre que trabajaba con comida de mariscos en las compañías cortando y todo. 
And he took out his fishing rod, and he started fishing from the fishing But shortly thereafter, después de eso, the church split, se dividió la iglesia. They kicked the pastor out, echaron pastor afuera. They really had no right to, no tenían derecho, but the pastor retired, estaba cansado el pastor. And we stopped going to church again, dejamos ir al templo otra vez. Well, I wanted to serve God, yo quería servir al Señor. My parents never hindered me, no me impidieron mis padres. Prohibieron tampoco, they didn't, they didn't prohibit me from doing that or forbid me. And I started catching the bus, comencé a pescar el camión. And I started going to this church, comencé a ir a una iglesia. Of course, they were Pentecostals, eran Pentecostales, and yo no era Pentecostal, I was a Pentecostal, so it was crazy. Era lo, lo, lunático, como gritaban y todo, they would scream, yo me asustaba. <laughs> and I, and since then, desde ese tiempo, desde los 14 años, since I was 14 years old, I've never stopped going to church. No ha dejado de ir a la iglesia. Never. I've always, I caught the bus. People gave me rides. Pescaba el camión. Gente me levantaba. They would find, I was playing the piano. Tocaba el piano. They didn't even know I would catch the bus to go to church. And they say, you have to be here by this hour. Tienes que estar aquí para tal hora. And I would just go. Because when you really belong to God, you have a desire to be in the temple. Porque cuando perteneces al Señor, aunque Dios está en todo lugar, tienes deseo de estar en el templo. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. There's something about the temple. Hay algo del templo. Yes, God is everywhere. Claro que Dios está en todo lugar, pero Él no se llama ir al templo. And I can prove it to you, even the Garden of Genesis. So, I mean, in the Garden of Eden, te lo puedo probar en el, en, el, en, el, en el huerto de Edén. Another time, otro día. But I just want to tell you, Jesus, Jesús, está en el templo. Jesus is in the temple. Somebody say amen. Alguien diga amen. Jesus who is God and can be everywhere. Jesús quien es Dios y puede estar en todo lugar. También viene el templo. He is also in the temple. And he created, and he created the temple in the Old Testament. He created the temple in the Antiguo Testamento. Y luego cuando lo hicieron, and then when they made him according to his instructions, acuerdo a sus instrucciones, he said, God can't fit in the temple. Dios no puede quedar en un templo. But then we have a temple even in heaven. Aún hay un templo todavía en el cielo. You know when the temple will cease to exist? ¿Saben cuándo va a dejar de existir el templo? Until we come back down to earth in the new Jerusalem. Cuando ya regresemos en la Nueva Jerusalén, entonces, dice la Biblia, no verá templo. And then there will be no temple. But right now, there's a temple in heaven in the book of Hebrews. Ahorita hay un templo en el cielo, en el acuerdo del libro de Hebreos. And there are volumes of books. Hay uh, toneladas de libros que, que hablan de esto. But I just want to tell you, if Jesus is supernatural and he is in the temple and you are in the temple, God is going to do something in the name of Jesus. Si Cristo es sobrenatural y Él está en el templo, y ustedes están aquí también, algo sobrenatural va a suceder. So, we have a series of questions. Tenemos una serie de preguntas. Vamos a entrar. Let's get this. Number one, God always runs the interview. Dios siempre dirige la entrevista. When you go to an interview, they're going to ask you questions. Cuando vas a una entrevista, te van a preguntar preguntas. They are trying to run the interview. Ellos quieren manejar la, la, la entrevista. But Jesus begins to question them. Pero Cristo comienza a cuestionar. And he said to them, entonces les dijo, Why do you seek me? ¿Por qué me buscan? Let me say this. Lo he dicho muchas veces. I said, questions are answers in seed form. Las preguntas son respuestas en forma de, sem de semilla. And what that means, lo que significa es esto. Sometimes people ask questions because they are trying to go somewhere with that question. A veces gente pre propone preguntas porque quieren llegar a un punto y no te quieren preguntar nomás directamente. They don't want to ask you directly. And sometimes it's with a bad intent. Aún a veces es una mala intención. Watch this. It means that sometimes questions aren't asked for the sake of wanting to learn. But sometimes they are asked with wrong motives. Así que a veces las preguntas se proponen no porque alguien quiera aprender. A veces se proponen preguntas por personas porque tienen malas motivaciones, motivos. It could be to entrap someone. Para atrapar a alguien. Sometimes people ask questions. A veces preguntan preguntas. Ponen, proponen preguntas. To test your level of knowledge. 
para poner una prueba de, a nivel de conocimiento. A ver, le voy a preguntar al pastor esto, a ver si, a ver si verdaderamente sabe, porque si no sabe, ajá, lo tengo en lo ignorante. I'm going to ask the pastor this, see if he really knows, because if he doesn't, he's an ignorant, and he's not, he's not worthy to be my pastor, no es digno ser mi pastor. You know, we go through this. Uh, así como le proponen preguntas a Jesús, just like they ask Jesus questions, we get questions too, nos preguntan a nosotros. Never be, never be bothered by a question. No, te, no dejes que las preguntas te molestan. To make one reflect, para hacer, uh, para hacer que uno reflexione. Sometimes questions are asked, se proponen preguntas, sometimes to control the conversation. A veces uno pone preguntas para controlar la conversación. Tú a mí no me vas a preguntar, yo te voy a preguntar. You're not going to question me, I'm going to question you. Right? <laughs> to try and insult in an argument. Para tratar de insultar en una discusión. A veces las preguntas se ponen. Sometimes the questions are asked to give the impression one is listening when they aren't. A veces dan la impresión de que uno está escuchando cuando no está escuchando. In classes that happen in las escuelas, a student may ask a professor a question. Un estudiante, un alumno pregunta algo del profesor because they were distracted porque estaban distraídos and they want to act like they were paying attention. Quieren uh, pantallar como que estaban poniendo atención. To try and distract the teacher para tratar de distraer el profesor. To avoid getting questioned themselves, they want to ask first. A veces para engañar e intentar de ganar una discusión to, uh, uh, o para evitar ser interro interrogados a sí de mismo. Sometimes to mislead and win an argument. I'm going, I'm going to put them to prevent the answer to a previous question because they don't want you to, they don't want to answer the previous question. A veces para evitar la respuesta de una pregunta anterior porque no quieren dar la respuesta. That would, that would prove the one asking the question is wrong. Que, pro, que probaría que probaría que el que hace la pregunta está equivocado. To sow doubts. Sometimes questions are asked to sow doubts. A veces se proponen preguntas para sembrar dudas en los oídos de otros que están escuchando con la intención de ganar simpatizantes. Sometimes people ask questions because they know, Joe, that other people are listening and they want to sow doubt in their ears too to try to gain support for their argument so that everybody can, para que todos me oigan, So again, questions are answers in seed form. Otra vez les pongo, las preguntas son respuestas en forma de semilla, right? Maybe, the, maybe a child says, un, un, un niño te pregunta, did you get paid today, dad? ¿Te pagaron hoy? Why? So that, ¿por qué me preguntas? Well, they're not going to say, no van a decir, porque quiero, quiero darle el diezmo al Señor and I want to, quiero regocijarme contigo. I want to give God the tithe and I want to rejoice with you. No, usually the question tells you, la pregunta te dice que te van a pedir algo, they're going to ask you. Pues no te pagaron, didn't they pay you? Now, I grew up in a home, yo, yo crecí en una casa donde mi mamá, mi papá, my parents taught us, uh, it's none of your business when we get paid. No es tu negocio cuando nos pagan a nosotros. And it's none of your business how much you get paid. Y no es tu negocio cuánto me pagan. You know you have things you need. You have the things you need met. Tienes que tener tus cosas. But I will tell you this, y les digo esto, I saw my mother. To this day, yo he visto mi mamá hasta este día. Sit down, se sienta, and she does the budget y hace el presupuesto. Esto va a esto, this goes to this, this goes to this. She's going to save money, esto va a esto. El diezmo, mamá, they would teach me the tithe, me enseña mi mamá a diezmar. And I saw that, I saw the budgeting. Yo vi eso, por eso, uh, anyway, I wish I was the discipline as my mother. So James chapter 4, verse 3, Santiago 4, 2, 4, versículo 3, dice así. When you ask, when you ask, y cuando piden, You do not receive, no reciben, because you ask with wrong motives. Porque piden con malas intenciones. Jesus was asked by a young man. A Jesús se le proponió la pregunta, uh, Who is my neighbor? ¿Quién es mi vecino? But he really didn't want to know who his neighbor was. En realidad no quería saber quién es su prójimo, su vecino. He was playing games. Estaba jugando con el Señor. So, what is your motive? ¿Qué es tu motivo? Why are you asking that? ¿Por qué le preguntas eso? And you might be thinking, well, Bishop, why are you talking about this? ¿Por qué hablas de esto? Primeramente el Espíritu Santo. First of all, the Holy Spirit. I don't pick the sermon. Yo no escojo los sermones. Yo digo lo que dice el Espíritu Santo que les diga. I see what the Holy Spirit tells me to tell you. Y eso es lo que tienes que oír. Y en eso te hablo. Si no, estás rechazando la palabra del Espíritu Santo. If not, you're rejecting the word of the Holy Spirit. But I'm going to listen to the Holy Spirit. Pero yo voy al Espíritu Santo. It challenges your motives. ¿Qué es tu, motiv tu motivo? The word motive in the Greek here, in este versículo, in this verse, the word motive means can be translated sick, 
también se traduce enfermo. Porque hay gente que tiene malos motiv motivos. People that have bad motives. That's sick. Isn't it something how when the Bible says wrong motives is also translated as sickness? La palabra, ma, uh, uh, la palabra malas intenciones también se traduce enfermedades. So I put here, sick questions come from sick people. Mm. Las preguntas con malas intenciones provienen de personas enfermas. Does anybody here want to know God? ¿No alguien aquí que quiere conocer a Dios? Oh, but I already know him. Yo ya lo conozco. You don't know everything about him. No sabes todo de We're always learning about the Lord. Siempre estamos aprendiendo. Por eso somos discípulos. That's why we're disciples. Estudiantes, students. Jesus said, go into all the world and make disciples. Dice Jesús, ir a todo el mundo a ser discípulos. Ir a todo el mundo a ser estudiantes. Go to all the world and make students. Students are always learning. Los estudiantes siempre están aprendiendo. Punto, period. In this scenario, we have Jesus asking questions of the temple leaders. Tenemos en este escenario Jesús proponiendo preguntas a los maestros del templo. Mary asking questions. María preguntaba, why have you done this? ¿Por qué no has hecho esto, hijo? That's victimized questions. Preguntas de víctima. ¿Por qué me hicieron esto? Dice, le dice a Jesús. ¿Por qué nos hiciste esto? Le dicen a Jesús. Porque siempre se ven como víctimas. They always see that as victims. Then Jesus is questioning his mother and his father. Jesús le pregunta a su mamá, su papá, ¿Por qué me buscaban? Why do you see me? I want you to notice again. This is the first time Jesus is talking. Es la primera vez que Jesús está hablando. And he's asking a question. Y está preguntando una pregunta. So watch this. Oigan esto. Seeking God produces nearness to God. Buscar a Dios produce cercanía a Dios. I'm going to get a little bit deeper. I'm going to get a little bit deeper. Because you can, orando, you can be praying. Puedes estar orando. You can be reading the Bible. Puedes estar leyendo la Biblia. You can be singing Christian songs. Puedes estar cantando cantos cristianos. And you may even think you're close to God. Puedes pensar que estás cerca, cerca al Señor. And you're not as close as you think. Y no estás tan cerca como piensas. Even in the temple. Aún en el templo. Jeremiah 29, 13, otra vez Jeremías 29, 13, dice, You will seek me, y me buscaréis, and find me, y me hallaréis. Watch this, Jesus is telling a church, Cristo le dice a la iglesia en Apocalipsis de Efesios, he's telling the Ephesian church, watch this, Nevertheless, I have this against you, pero tengo contra ti, that you left your first love, que has dejado tu primer amor. How do you leave, if but not creating a distance? ¿Cómo te alejas, si no por crear Distancia. God is right there where Adam is. Dios está donde está Adán. And he says, where are you? ¿Dónde estás Adán? God is everywhere. He's talking about there's a distance. Hay una distancia. Your children can be in your own home. Tus hijos pueden estar en tu casa. And there be a distance between you and them. Y una distancia entre ellos y tú. You could sleep with your spouse in the same bed. Puedes dormir con tu pareja en la misma cama. And you can feel, my husband is distant. Mi, mi esposo, hay una distancia. Se siente lejos de mí. You come to the house of God. Puedes ir a la casa de Dios. And think because you're sitting here. Pensar porque estás sentado en una silla. Pues aquí estoy. I'm there. Yeah, but you're distant. Es, no, hay una distancia. There's not a connection. No hay una con God wants a connection. Dios quiere una conexión. Hallelujah. Jesus tells the church, Cristo le está hablando a la iglesia, not the world, no al mundo. He says, you've left, has dejado una distancia. Y aclaro dejar, dejado, I clarify left, not lost, no perdieron, because I've heard so many people saying, hay mucha gente que los oigo cuando predican, they say, well, you've lost, has perdido tu primer amor. No, no, te has alejado, te has alejado. You don't have to be in the world to be distant from Jesus. No tienes que estar en el mundo para tener una distancia con Cristo. Come on. Hay muchos, muchos matrimonios, many marriages. As soon as the kids leave, the parents don't have a marriage anymore. Cuando se van los hijos que se casan, ya no hay matrimonio because it was just because of the kids that they were together. Solo por los niños estaban juntos. You need to be together as a couple. Tienen que estar juntos como pareja. I want us to just stop. Quiero, quiero que, que, que tomamos una pausa. And I want us to just declare, vamos a declarar, Lord, if there's any distance between you and me, Remove it. I don't want it. Señor, si hay distancia entre tú y yo, quítalo.
no more. No more. I tell my wife all the time, I know you do, and I'm sure you do, yo le digo mis cosas todo el tiempo, even this morning, or last night, I went in la noche, estaba en el closet, she was in the closet, and I went in the closet, I stopped her, I put them in my head, fue al closet, y, y you know, podemos caminar, we can walk in our closet. And I told her, will you dance here? Bailas conmigo, y me, y ahí estamos en el closet, y got, no hay música, estamos like, <laughs> we can't even dance, y podemos bailar. But I, but I said, there's a closeness. Hay un calor, hay una, algo cer cerca. And I tell her, le digo, I, I want to die with you. Me quiero morir contigo. Pero hay en el closet, no le digo, se oye feo, se oye feo. Right? In the closet, it sounds kind of scary. Right? I don't want to die with you. I want to live with you. Quiero vivir contigo. I want to hurt with you. I want to heal with you. Quiero, quiero doler contigo. Quiero sanar contigo. I want, I want to be with you all the time. Quiero estar contigo. My wife is going to go, uh, back to work in January for a day or two. Uno día o dos en enero comienza mi esposa en el trabajo. No más como one or, one or, once or twice a, day, uh, a week. Una dos veces en, porque trabaja en la casa. And one of the things that we deal with, una cosa con, que confrontamos, is, oh, my wife's not going to be there. Mi esposa no va a estar. I said, oh, I'm going to miss you, babe. Me dice, te voy a echar menos. And I tell her, I'm going to miss you. Y no más trabaja siete minutos de la casa. She just works seven minutes from the house. And Ella, and we hug, you know. Oh, and we give Ella a hug. She gives us a hug. Closeness is good. La cercanía es buena. When we come to the house of the Lord, cuando venimos al templo, debe que haber una cercanía. There must be a closeness. Not you serve God, I serve God, you go your way. Tú vas por tu lado, yo voy por mi lado. Yo sirvo a Dios, tú no me creas. No, 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 no. Dios ni acepta. Si no hay una cercanía con tu prójimo. God doesn't even accept. He says, you got to love your neighbor like you love yourself. Tienes que amar a tu prójimo como a ti mismo. And then you can love the Lord your God. Y puedes amar al Señor. It's got to be that way. Somebody one day said, alguien anotó un día. It's like an L. Tu prójimo a Dios. Como una L. Como tu prójimo a Dios. Y se deletrea. Amor en inglés es love. Con una L en español no trabaja por una amor. Watch this. Oigan esto. Amamos en Yahweh con tu. Estamos como los católicos. Mira aquí. Barely going to know. Nombre. Come on, man. Lucas 2.46 dice, Luke 2.46. So it was that after three days, y aconteció que tres días después, they found him in the temple. Le hallaron en el templo. It took three days to notice Jesus had been gone from them. Tardó tres días en darse cuenta de que Jesús se había ido de ellos. Now this sermon, this point, este punto de este sermón aquí, this, you've heard it many times. No necesito mucho. That's another thing. You can hear God. Puedes oír las palabras de Dios. You can hear the word of God. And it doesn't move you anymore. No te conmueve. Because it's become a routine. Oh, yeah, ya sé ese sermón. I already know that sermon. I already know that verse. Ya sé ese versículo. Oí otro pastor que lo predicó mejor. I heard another pastor preach it better. My mother-in-law called me. Mi, mi, mi llamó mi suegra and she said, did you hear the Bible study on the, the menorah the, in the temple? Uh, Bishop Jakes was preaching. No, this is a sermon de, del obispo Jakes. Está predicando del, del, de la candelera del templo. And I said, you know, I heard Bishop Jakes preach on that 20 years ago. I used to have the tape series. Oí el obispo predicar sobre eso hace 20 años. And, I, and she was so excited. Tenía, estaba bien emocionada. And, I, and I'm listening to her because I'm driving. Estaba conduciendo, estaba manejando. And she said, wow, it was so awesome about how it was all made of one piece of gold. Como estaba hecho todo de un pedazo de oro. How there needs to be unity among the brothers. Como tiene que haber unidad. en ramas, pero todo un mismo pedazo. Different branches, but still the same piece. And, and I said, yeah, yeah, I've heard that. And I said, but don't get me wrong. No me, no me malentiendes. I'm excited. Me emociono también contigo. Because I heard it while I was cooking the other day. Estaba cocinando. Siempre estoy cocinando, ¿verdad? I was cooking. Porque siempre quiero comer. I always want to eat it. Ay, esta semana hice fritos con, con uh, huevos revueltos. I made fritos. Ay, qué rico. Anyway. Uh, anyway, so uh, I'm cooking. Estoy cocinando. Y dice mi esposa, está lo visto. She's why, eh, porque está trabajando ya, but she comes out, sale en su oficina. Y lo pone. Y no, we don't catch him all the time. No lo vemos todo el tiempo. But boy, he was teaching about the incense. Estaba hablando del incenso de la oración. About prayer. Boy, I was cooking and yeah, ah, you know, estaba no emocionado. And it's something when you and your family 
Get excited about the closeness of God. No salgo cuando la familia juntamente se emocionan con la cercanía de Dios. We should never fight about coming to church. Nunca nos debemos que pelear concerniendo venir al templo. Eso es satánico. Ese es el diablo, es demonio. That is the devil. That is satanic. It's la carne. It is the flesh. And that means it's a bad thing. Esta niña, my daughter, pastor. Today's church. Hoy es el, hoy vamos a la iglesia. No, Ella. No. Today's church. No, no. Today's not church. I go to the room and, you know, getting ready for Zoom. And I try to make sure I go to the restroom. Like, before I get on Zoom, I'm like, make sure you go to the restroom. And I go, two minutes, I got to go and get it. And then I just saw, I turn my camera. I go, ah, que pongo en Zoom, trato de ir al baño. And Ella goes, oh, you're going to play the keyboard for church. Vas a ir a tocar el teclado para la, para la iglesia. Aunque estamos en la casa, I didn't know Because Jesus is in our home. Cristo está en nuestro hogar. I'm not talking to people who don't know God. No está hablando a gente que no conozco a Dios. I'm talking to people who are in the things of God, but are missing God. Estoy hablando de la gente, las personas que están en las cosas de Dios, pero que se lo están perdiendo con Dios. Oh, yo fui quedado en la iglesia. I was raised in the church. Okay. God is not in your opinion. Dios no está en tu opinión. God is not in your preferences, likes or dislikes. Dios no está en tus preferencias, gustos o, de, o disgustos. God is not found in your favorite circle of friends. Dios no se encuentra en tu círculo favorito de amigos. God is not even in the scriptures you may think you try to use to get your way. Dios no está ni siquiera en las escrituras que puedes usar para tratar de llegar a tu manera. Let me explain that point. Déjame explicar este punto. I already tell you, I puedo ir el diablo. John 5.39, Juan 5.39, Jesus, Jesús dice, you search the scriptures. Escudriñar las escrituras, for in them you think you have eternal life. Porque a vosotros os parece que en ellas tenéis la vida eterna. I don't have a word to preach if not but the Holy Spirit. Yo no tengo palabra que predicar sino por el Espíritu Santo. I don't teach the letter of the law. Yo no predico la, la letra de la ley. Yo predico el Espíritu y la palabra. I preach the Spirit. And the word. When you really get in the word of God, there's no separating. Cuando en realidad entras en la palabra, no hay separación. God's voice versus your response. La voz de Dios frente a su respuesta. Luke 2.47, and all who heard him. Y todos los que le oían, they were astonished. Se maravillaban. Somebody say they were astonished. They were amazed. They were amazed at his understanding and his answers. Se maravillaban de su inteligencia y de sus respuestas. Never cease to be amazed by God's voice. Nunca dejes de ser maravillado por la voz de Dios. Hear me. Hear me. Does hearing God bore you? ¿Te aburre oír la voz de Dios? Porque yo estoy hablando de la voz de Dios. I'm speaking the voice of God. First Peter 4, 11, 1 Peter 4.11, 1 Peter 4.11, dice que el que predica, let him speak, speak like the mouth of God or the oracles of God, que predique la palabra como si fuera la boca de Dios en otra tradición. God is talking, Dios está hablando. Some people yawn, and example, una gente comienza a bostecear, some people fall asleep, se duermen. Have you lost an amazement for God's voice? Él no es, has perdido una, una, la habilidad de ser maravillado por la palabra. Never cease to be amazed. It's like getting bored with your husband or your wife. Es como ser aburrido con tu esposa y tu esposa. Deja que la hermana Sandra deje de hacerle las tortillas a, a Luis porque se queja a ver si no le toca menos las tortillas y la hermana Sandra. Se deja. See if Louis one day complains about tortillas and his sister stops making them and he misses the tortillas, but more so his wife because she makes it. See, you can't separate it. No lo puedes separar. Oh, si me gusta la voz de Dios, pero no me gusta como predica. I don't like the, I love the word of God, but not the way they preach. God is not in your opinion. Dios no está en tu opinión. 
When you're really hungry, cuando en realidad tienes hambre, you hear God, hoy es la voz de Dios. God doesn't let you choose the speaker. Dios no te deja escoger el, el, que, el, el que habla. Él está hablando. So, what are his questions revealing? ¿Qué revelan sus preguntas? Why are you seeking me? ¿Por qué me buscan? Isn't it funny? No, no, no se les hace raro uh, that when the woman came asking Jesus to heal his daughter, que cuando vino la mujer pidiendo a Jesús a, a sanar a su hija, when he called her a dog, cuando la llamó un perro, does anybody here remember that? ¿Se recuerdan eso? The disciples tried to stop her. Los discípulos trataron de, de impedirla. And what did they say? ¿Qué dijeron? She called after us. Nos clama nosotros. She wasn't calling after them. She was calling out for Jesus. No estaba clamando a ellos. Estaba clamando a Jesús. You met something. Somebody say, I'm calling to Jesus. Voy a clamar a Jesús. That word, esa palabra, that word astonished in the Greek, it means to throw out of position. Esa palabra maravillado en el griego significa tirar fuera de posición. To displace, a dis desplazar. So I'm going to say this. God's word should always be throwing your flesh out of position and into a spiritual position. La palabra de Dios siempre debe arrojarnos fuera de nuestra posición carnal a una posición espiritual en él. If you are hearing God right, he will knock the flesh out of you and pull you into his glory. Si estás oyendo a Dios bien, él va a arrojar tu carne, la va a matar y te vas a acercar a él. Si no, no lo estás oyendo bien. If not, you're not hearing him right. He's calling you. Dios te está llamando. God is calling you, King. God is calling you, Pastor Jessica. God is calling you. Dios te está llamando. Right now, él te está llamando. Aún ahorita, él te está llamando. He's still calling. Todavía te está llamando. And I put here, God's questionings are always to increase you. Las preguntas de Dios siempre son para aumentarte. Siempre. Even if it has to start by first reducing you. Incluso si tiene que comenzar con primero reducirte. Dice Juan 3.30, John 3.30. He must increase. Es necesario que él crezca. But I must decrease. Pero que yo me increase. that something? Luke 2.51, Lucas 2.51. I begin to close. Comenzó a concluir. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth. Y descendió con ellos y volvió a Nazaret. And it said, and was subject to them, his mother and his father. Y estaba sujeto a ellos. Jesus, before he became a leader, he had to even submit to his mother and his father. Aun cuando Cristo era un gran líder, se sujetó. Dios siempre te quiere aumentar. God always wants to increase you. But it starts with reducing. Comienza con reducir. Isn't that something? His parents weren't perfect. Sus padres no eran perfectos. I know more than them. I'm God. How do I submit to them? ¿Cómo me sujeto a ellos? Yo, con, yo sé más. Yo soy, yo soy perfecto. Hey, listen. The way up is down. El subir es en someter. The Bible said you gain your life by losing your life. Ganas tu vida con perder tu vida. It's but you receive by giving. Recibes en dar. The way up. So I challenge you, men, stand to your feet. Los hombres, varones. God has called you to be the head of your house. Yo estoy llamado a ser la cabeza de tu hogar. If you set a bad example, si pones mal ejemplo, it's very hard to follow you. It's difícil. It applies to me too. It's difícil to get to. We, as priests of the home, como sacerdotes de la casa, tenemos que estar cerca a Jesús. We must be close to Jesus. And we must allow one another. Tenemos que permitirnos uno al otro. That when somebody is a little bit off, cuando uno está un poquito incorrecto, o un incorrecto, to let God use that brother, dejar de Dios usar ese hermano, a traer corrección, to bring correction. Our, our, our brotherhood is a blessing. 
nuestra hermandad es una bendición. And then we have to keep our wives and children in the way of God. Necesitamos que mantener nuestra pareja y hijos en el camino del Señor. Y si nos equivocamos, and if we get confused, and we're at home in la casa, nuestra pareja, our spouse, mujer, a veces nos, hey, esto y el otro. Y no nos gusta, we don't like it. ¿Verdad? Que me diga mi esposa, hey, pues, te estás hablando unos cuantos dulcecitos, ¿no? Que tienes diabetes, you're eating too much candy, and your kid that diabetes. Don't tell me, no me digas. Don't you know I have a degree in biology, tengo credenciales en biología, no. Y más ignorante que me veo por decir eso, a mí lo que But God is asking you. Pónganse todos de pie. God is asking you. God is asking you. Let's all stand. Why do you seek me? ¿Por qué me busca? ¿Por qué me busca? Oh, vine a la iglesia porque me hicieron venir, pero si no, si no va, si no va esta persona, yo no voy. I went to church because they make me in it. They don't go. I don't go. Huh? Why? Jesus increased, Cristo aumentó, Luke 2.52, Lucas 2.52, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, y Jesús crecía en sabiduría y en estatura, and in favor with God and men, y en gracia para con Dios y con los hombres. Satan hates for you to grow. Satanás odia que crezcas. So let God question and examine your heart. Deja que Dios cuestione y examine tu corazón. Amen. Never lose your ability to be marveled at his voice. Nunca pierdas tu habilidad de maravillarte con su voz. Number three. Become greater in the kingdom by submitting. Hazte más grande en el reino practicando la fe. Isn't it something? God is here. And it's time to go higher. Es tiempo, es tiempo subir en los pasos como te decía. It's time to go higher. All of this, me starting an online ministry, yo comenzando enseñando en línea, uh, me starting another church, comenzando otra iglesia, Pastor Anthony lead here, y Pastor Antonio guiar este templo, y Pastor Eric cuando comienzo la tuya, cuando comienzo, y las otras iglesias que levante, y voy a poner Pastor Esaias, that's a good It's just, Lifting people up is aumentar la gente. Es aumentar la gente. Es lift people. But the devil would hate for you to grow. El diablo odia tu crecimiento. But we're here to help you grow. Estamos aquí para ayudarte a crecer. And I also have to answer the leadership. Yo también tengo que dar respuesta al liderazgo. I didn't just start another online ministry. No nomás comenzó un ministerio. Le llamé el presidente de la organización, a mi obispo estatal. I call my bishop, my state bishop, and the president, and they blessed me, me bendice. I have two more people to call. Se me tocan dos más, dos más personas. Me den su bendición. Ya tengo la palabra de Dios. I have the word of the Lord. But I'm submitted. Yo también. Because we're here for King Jesus. Estamos aquí para el Rey Jesús. Amen. And so, I encourage you today. Stay marveled with the word of God. Maravillense con la palabra de Jehová. Yo make sure when everybody leaves, cuando se va la gente que, que reciben las notas. If you would like a copy of the notes, si quisiera una copia de las notas, uh, I can send you a link. Les puedo mandar un link en el text, en texto. Y when you click on it, then you click on download, a, a cargar, you'll have these notes. Van a tener estas notas. And you can have them and you can share them with your friends and family. Los pueden compartir con tu familia también. Así que, so Joe, before they leave, you can give me the We're going to continue to worship that.